Do you hate disorganization? Do you think plastic bags are gross? Well, we got the solution for you. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to teach you how to make a matchbox holder for your game pieces. This is a great way to store your game pieces and you can use them in whichever game you like. We chose to upgrade Everdell and we chose the color for our cardboard based on which game pieces they are planned to hold. So pink is for berries. The only materials that you need are a cutting board, a metal ruler, a glue stick, some paper clips, a pencil, a sharp knife, some sharp scissors, and a knitting needle. If you don't have a knitting needle, then you can just use the back side of a butter knife instead. So let's get going. We used this site, Template Maker, that has a lot of really great designs. Go to templatemaker.nl click the matchbox icon and here you can customize your box to your liking. The measurements that we used fit in the Everdell box but if you're making a holder for a different game you might need to choose different measurements. Your template downloads immediately once you click create and you can choose to donate if you wish. Now print it out and cut it out. A tip is to cut on the outside of the thick border so that your cutout template still has the black outline. This will make the following steps a bit easier. If you're planning on making a lot of boxes, another tip is to glue the template onto thick cardboard and use that as your template instead. This helps to make your template more durable and reusable. You can cut out the template with a scissors or a knife, but you will get the most precise cut with a knife and a ruler. Now take your template and draw an outline around it with a pencil. Try to hold it steady so that the template doesn't move. Now the next step is to stretch the fibres of the paper with your knitting needle or butter knife to make the paper easier to fold later on. Now it's time to cut out the matchboxes. Again, you will get the best result with a sharp knife and a ruler. It's important to press down on the ruler to make sure it doesn't move while you cut. This is especially important if you don't have a ruler with an anti-slip grip underneath. If you're interested in knowing how you can upgrade your ruler, you can watch our video here. These little flaps might also seem annoying to cut out, but they actually do a lot to help the box keep its shape. But if you want to just cut a straight line and save yourself the hassle, that's fine too, because everything will be glued in the end anyway. Cut on the inside of your pencil line. Now this is the most satisfying part. Fold along the lines you made before. Take your glue stick and add it to these places. Hold it there for 30 seconds or more. In my head I keep calling them flippy flappies. <laughs> Place the little flippy flappies. Folding down another flippy flappy. <laughs> Here's where the paper clips also come in handy and can help hold the box in place while it dries. So there you have it. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Okay, bye. No, that's Simone, I can't say that. I hope you like and subscribe. <laughs>